What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Before we dive into today's episode, Melanie and I have been sitting in quarantine for the last couple weeks, spending the most time we've ever spent with each other. And uh, we've been having a lot of fun. We've gotten a little creative and we built a new website. So Melanie, announce the uh, promotion we're doing here. So we're going to be doing a giveaway. You can participate and we would like if you can follow our new Instagram account at the Lux Showroom. Um, it's a new jewelry, luxury jewelry, diamonds, website. And if you could follow that account, you will be able to win a new um, one of our Sob Design t-shirts. Yeah. So check that out, Sob guys. Um, we kind of combined our business with hobbies and passion. Melanie does a lot of the designing since she's in fashion on the website. So we figured it's a great opportunity for us to pivot our business and expand and we wanted to just bring that to your attention because we want to grow our accounts and get the word out there. So we appreciate your support as always. Now let's get into the video because in this video we go through the entire transformation of the 0395 re 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 that I rebuilt and um, we have more plans in the works. Right now everything kind of was put on hold so hopefully you guys enjoy this. We do have more content coming this week, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And again, thank you guys for all the love and support, and keep sobbing. We'll see you guys. Also, the giveaway is going to be posted on our Instagram, the yep. Lux Showroom, and also Kyle Pants' Instagram. Yep, so check out both links uh, below, and check out the merch if you guys have a recommendation of which t-shirt we should give away. We haven't decided that yet. So if you guys want to put some comments down below, your input is always, always welcomed. So enjoy the video. Car's at 133,000. It's been sitting for two years. It's a little messy, but you know, nothing that isn't fixable, you know? The inside is a mess from the dog. Again, not anything we can't really fix. It looks like this just needs some fresh stitching. Standard dog, dog rust. Man. It's got oil in it. You want to start? You want me to start it? Go ahead. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Let's see, what, let's see. When's the last time it was started? Months ago. Months ago. Okay. Let's see if we can get this thing running. Hold on. Let me uh, have a piece for you. Fired right up. Clicking noise. When's the last time it started? Months ago. Doesn't sound that bad. Alright, guys, grand voyage here. Leaky exhaust. Shift's normal. Left, guys. We just got a good deal on that car. I paid a very, very nice price. It does need a lot of work, but it's nothing that we can't handle. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel here. Today, we are on an adventure. It's actually gonna be my first time really towing personally. I've never actually towed personally, so. And we got a pretty long haul. It's about 40 minutes of hauling each way we are about 45 minutes of driving till we get to the sub we're gonna pick it up i'll be in touch with you when we get there all right guys here we go it's time to grip it up once again let's roll All right, guys, let's get her up on this trailer here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Welcome to New Jersey. So let's jump this thing. I'm gonna go inside the car here. You can see that it's a disaster in here. It's disgusting in so many ways. So we're gonna go ahead and scrub it down. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am blinding myself in the face, but I'm doing it for you so you guys can see this beautiful 2003 Sav 9, 5, 9, 5, 9, 5 Aero. In this episode, we are completely tearing apart this engine. We have a, a leaky gasket that's on the valve cover. Whoever put that on there put on, you know, some, some gasket maker, which doesn't belong in there, and it's a mess, and it's leaking, probably because it was missing a check valve. All right guys, as you can see, we have a good top end. There is no sludge. We are back. I went out, I drained the oil pan so I can drain the oil pan. I drained the oil out at the shop to drain the oil pan out of the car. A lot going on there. I also picked up some engine paint, black semi-gloss. We're gonna go ahead and paint this valve cover as I prepped it. Got all the loose paint off, all the bubbles out. So backed up, which is good. We knew that we had oil pressure. But look at the bottom of this pan here, guys. Look at all that sludge. As you can see here, this guy is nice and cleaned out. I'm gonna go ahead now and just reassemble this, clean all the surfaces, apply the gasket maker, and reinstall. I am here with this 2003 Saab 95. And if you are new to the channel, I purchased this car a couple weeks ago for nothing. I picked it up, towed it home, dirt cheap. In the last episode, we went ahead, pulled the oil pan out, cleaned all the sludge that was in there to make sure that this Saab engine does not self implode. So in this episode, we are gonna go ahead and fix the exhaust up, also change the torque mount while we're under there and the passenger side mount to be done with the engine base stuff. The last thing on that list, of course, is to install with the fresh gasket, the valve cover that we repainted also in the last episode. Well guys, I think we have a job well done. It's gonna be steamy because all of the, you know, everything coming off of there. But it sounds beautiful. Really, really sounds beautiful. And to top it, we don't have any single oil leaking. And the exhaust sounds beautiful. Beautiful sounding. All right, guys, as you can see here, the fan speed is set to all the way on high, and there is zero fan. So that is what we are going to address in this video. I'm gonna to have to go behind the dashboard here. All right, guys, so uh, this came faster in the mail than I had expected. All right, guys, 
fan is spinning. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This week has been uh, a lot of things have happened this week with the Saab. Some unexpected turns, but everything always happens for a reason. It always all works out. So now the car sits currently without a windshield. pretty dry in here I don't see any water seepage what's up everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Kyle Pansis this is my 2003 Saab 95 aero spec I purchased it really really cheap about a couple weeks ago, about three four weeks ago and if you haven't been following the build we started from the front rehabbing the entire engine bay to the HVAC system which was broken which was the reason why this car was for sale as a parts car which is why we really saved it and in the last episode, if you haven't checked it out yet, we replaced the front windshield. In today's episode, we're going to hop into the interior. We're going to scrub all of the seats and scrub the carpets and make the whole thing look brand new inside because it is a little bit dirty. And if you haven't paid attention to the previous episode, there is a seam that is ripped on the front leather seat. So we're going to go ahead and pull that out as well. Alright guys, here is a final tour. Oh man, this car looks brand new inside. Look at this. Oh baby, nice and shiny. Look at this from a bird's eye view. Bam. Now in this episode, we're gonna fix the failure, I hope. The failure of the rear park assist. When I get the rear park assist or put the car in reverse, it says rear park assist failure. I went and picked up a new or new to me sensor for this parking sensor. So let's see if this solves the problem. Oh baby. Because we have completely rehabbed this car and in today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and take care of all the dog leg rust that these Saab 95s are prone to be getting. So stay tuned. Boys. I'm about to go do the rest of the car and then I'll stay tuned, but Keep you tuned, but look at look at the surface of this paint, how nice it came out. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Kyle. This is my 2003 Saab 95 that we purchased about a month ago. It was sitting in a field for about two years, and we have saved it from the junkyard. A little TLC. If you guys haven't seen the episodes, be sure to check out the playlist. I'll link it right above. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please smash the subscribe button because we are saving sobs left and right and uh, we have other future plans in the work so be sure to stay tuned for that. Oh, the subframe bushings are bad on this car. You can feel the, the uh, you can hear the knocking noise when you're driving and of course even just at a standstill if I'm turning the wheel you can kind of see the subframe shifting so the bushings are shot. We have polyurethane bushings that I bought online for 50 bucks so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that.
All right, guys, so car is much quieter. No more creaks and rattles or pops. Brakes are beautifully smooth. Smooth as silk. That makes any sense. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, today we are going to finalize the 9.5. We have fresh spark plugs and a fresh cassette to go along with that. That's a happy engine right there. All right, guys. Just driving it in the neighborhood here, it's already so much better. Air conditioning's nice and cold. 65 degrees, it's sunny here today, so air conditioning is running nice. This car is freaking sweet. For a little, little farm car that we found this thing sitting on for two years, it's uh, put a lot of work into it but this will conclude the build I think uh, this thing is really nice and it's running really nice just absolutely amazing it's a really really good car it's got good bones and uh, we went through all of the typical sob stuff the things that give you those sob stories and uh, we situated it we took care of the engine light we took care of the sump pump and all the seals inside the engine we took care of the valve cover gasket to make sure that was not leaking we took care of the PVC system with the check valve. We put a new valve in there to uh, eliminate any further, you know, engine sludge and, you know, pressure, um, crank pressure. Uh, what else did we take care of in this car? We took care of the interior, the leather seat with the stitching. We brought the interior back to life because it was, you know, super dirty in here. And uh, we redid the subframe mounts, the subframe bushings, and, and uh, all of the engine mounts. That's, that's the proper terminology there. Subframe bushings and engine mounts. Torque mount, all of them. They're all brand new. And um, this thing's nice, man. We, char we charged up the AC. Heated seats work really nice. All right, boys, before I leave you off on this episode here, I want to thank you for tuning in and watching this awesome transformation. In the next episode, I ordered uh, new rotors. You can see me messing around with the old ones there, but the ABS was kicking in quite a bit, and I suspected bad rotors in the rear there, so we went ahead and took care of that, so be sure to stay tuned for that episode.